कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर सेवन फॉरवर्ड रेट एग्रीमेंट एफ आर एज आर ऑल्सो फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एग्रीमेंट्स इट्स जस्ट दैट द अंडरलाइंग इज एन इंटरेस्ट रेट इन केस ऑफ एन एफ आर ए सो दैट मीन्स देर इज नो बायर एंड सेलर इन दिस केस द लॉन्ग विल बी द वन हु इज बोरोइंग द मनी हु पेज फिक्स इंटरेस्ट रेट कीप दिस इन माइंड द पेयर ऑफ फिक्स इंटरेस्ट रेट इज द लॉन्ग पोजिशन and the short position is the one who is investor and is receiving the fixed rate of in. no actual loan is made in this case it is totally settled in cash the loan amount is called notional principal it is called notional because there is no actual transfer of this loan this amount is used only for the purpose of calculation of interest hence notional and as there is no actual loan coming up so these are off balance sheet instruments that is not reflected in the balance sheet the fixed rate is called the forward contract rate and the interest rate to be determined is called the underlying which is usually libor payoffs in fra if the libor at expiry is greater than the fixed interest rate let's say the fixed rate determined at initiation was 7% and the libor at expiry turns out to be 8% this means that the borrower could get a loan at a cheaper rate than the market rate and hence the long benefits on the other hand if the low if the interest rate expiry is less than the fra rate it means that the short was able to invest his money at a higher rate than the market rate and that is when the short benefits notation for fras 1x3 fra or 1 by 3 fra means that the contract is made for taking a loan after 30 days for a duration of 60 days that means if this is a 30 day period and this is a 60 day period then a 1 by 3 fra means that the loan will be taken on this date okay this is the date when we are actually entering into the contract so this is the initiation date or this is also called the trade date when the contract when the fra is being entered into okay then this is the date when the loan will be taken this is called the settlement date and this is the date when the loan or when the fra expires so this is called the maturity date and this is the actual contract period note that the uh, notation is done in months okay 1 by 3 means the loan is taken after one month for a period of two months and the entire uh, period adds up to three months okay similarly a 3 by 6 fra means that the loan will be taken after three months for another period of 3 months and the total adds up to 6 months okay although the notation is in months but the actual interest calculation is done in days only we have an example here a company has chosen to use a 6 by 9 fra which means that the loan will be taken after 6 months for a period of 3 months okay this entire in, in this is an entire 9 month period and in which the loan will be taken after 6 months okay expiring in 6 months to mitigate the risk of paying a floating coupon on the bond issue the term structure is as follows so we are provided with libor interest rates for one is the 180 day libor and the next is 270 days libor what is the price of this forward rate agreement that means what should be the fixed interest rate on this fra when you are provided with the variable interest rates that is the market interest rates that is prevailing at this point in time okay at this different points in time so the fra price is uh, determined in this way we need this fra price that means we need an interest rate for this 3 month period right for this 3 month we need to determine the interest rate and we are provided with an interest rate for this entire 270 days period or the 9 months day period which is 5.95% this is the interest rate for 270 days out of which for 180 day period the interest rate is given as 5.65% 
based on these two inputs we need to compute the interest rate for this three month period or this three or this 90 day period okay so in a way what we need to do is uh, we need to subtract this 180 day interest rate from this total and the balancing figure that we get will be the interest rate for this period that is the idea now actually how do we compute this so let me show you on the numerator we write the interest rate that is uh, 0 0.0595 now this is the interest rate for the 270 day period and in the denominator we have the interest rate for the 180 day period now add the principal before the interest and then we do a minus one here but now the important point is that these interest rates that we are provided these are annualized interest rates okay these are these this 270 day period has been further annualized so we will have to first unannualize these interest rates by simply dividing it by 360 and multiplying it with a 270 day period okay this will give me the interest rate for 270 days only similarly for this 180 day period we will have to unannualize it by dividing it by 360 and multiplying it with 180 when we solve this we get the interest rate for these three months that is for these 90 days but again when we are quoting a rate it has to be an annualized rate okay so we will multiply it with 360 again and divide it by 90 to annualize this interest rate okay this gives us a figure of 0 0.0637 that is equal to 6.37 percent this is the price of the forward rate agreement or the fixed interest rate for this period then there is a concept of synthetic FRA when one of the contracting parties under FRA is not available that means you want to enter into an FRA but there is no counterparty available in that case you can create an FRA on your own synthetically how can you do that see this example this says that you wanted to do a 30 day FRA on a 90 day LIBOR that means after 30 days you wanted to take a loan for 90 days okay that means a 1 by 4 FRA is what you were looking for but there is no counterparty available in the OTC market which wants to do a loan after 30 days okay so in that case you can synthetically create uh, this kind of FRA by taking a loan today itself why don't you take a loan today itself for 120 days but since you do not need these funds right now you can invest it for the next 30 days as a result you will be earning some interest on this okay and you can withdraw it or uh, receive these funds back when you actually need it and then keep using the funds for the next 90 days and in both the cases the payoffs or the cash flows will be the same either you enter into a 1 by 4 FRA or you do a synthetic FRA where you borrow the loan for 120 days and then invest it for 30 days the cash flows are going to be the same all right and the notation for synthetic FRAs is a little bit different in this case 1 by 3 FRA means that you are lending or investing for 30 days and then you will be borrowing the money for 90 days okay in this case this uh, second figure or this 3 is not cumulative this is indicating your borrowing period and the 1 is indicating your lending period or the investing period similarly 3 by 6 FRA means you are lending for 90 days for this 3 months and for the next 6 months you will be borrowing 